It's somewhere around 10 a.m. ish right now. Um, but I actually didn't think I filmed the fact that the caddies are being going out um, into a field for oh, a good while now. Um, they still get a little bit of milk once a day. And there's actually one lamb that was so loud. Um, there's actually one lamb that was born maybe a week ago, so he still gets um, all the milk that he needs. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and feed them and then we'll put them out. It's a really nice day today. There are some, some gloomy clouds knocking around, but hopefully... Hopefully they'll get all the way. But yeah, I'm gonna get these lambs fed, get them out in the sun, um, and then figure out what we're doing for the rest of the day. There's actually um, one lamb that I took in the other day that had gotten into the wrong field. Um, its mother got into our neighbor's field. Um, but she's going to be coming in today with the sheep that we're taking in today. Um, it's in that general direction. So I've kept him in <coughs> whilst while the mother was still out in, in those fields. And he's not looking too great. He just looks really ill. stragglers and we did have some lambs that decided to run away so I didn't actually get anything done yesterday other than getting them in because I was out chasing lambs until about nine o'clock last night. Um Tori's made a friend. <laughs> so cute. Um but yeah I'm gonna get these guys in um and then we can start deucing and stuff.
on your own. Um, I'm actually going to be shredding them straight into the shed today because my brother's going to come and shift them all to the field where we put the yards in the first um, last time because um, there's just plenty of grass there and they'll probably thrive out there better than here. See that I also got my trimming um, trimming scissors so I'm going to trim some feet as well if they need it <clears throat> but for the most part I'm just going to do some with pediment. just tied it up in at every single join this time um, and triple tied it to both of the strainer posts so fingers crossed we're not gonna have any more falling over of this the issue with, with all of this is that like once one bit falls it's all gonna fall um, so you kind of have to stagger them um, so they're not in the straight line they're like zigzagged and stuff um, so that they stay better but it's still not ideal because obviously there's two different types of gates there um, and they just don't hold together very well so I've done my best here fingers crossed it's gonna stay um, the way that it needs to stay um, I'm just I'm just sitting here I don't know whether you guys are gonna be able to but there is a group of hogs running wild over there and I don't know what they're from, running from. There must be something there. That's odd. But yeah. Anyway, um, it is really late right now so I'm going to finish up for the day and go to bed. It's so weird with like these really light nights that like right now it's half past 10 and it's still like daylight outside it's literally like not dark at all so yeah i'm just gonna actually before i go out cough i'm gonna go and check the cows and the sheep where we put the sheep up last and then then i'm gonna go to sleep Actually, 
film this um but every day I come and check the cows and the sheep that we put up here the other week just to make sure that there's enough grass for everyone and everyone's happy so that's just what I'm doing right now. just came home from work to find that the silage field is full of yows once again so off I go to put some more bits on but I think right now they're actually getting out from um, underneath the fence so they've managed to break through um, like underneath the fence and rip it all up so I'm gonna go and patch that up and then I'm gonna try and actually get them out of the field next to it and see if I can maybe try and patch that field up as well so they can't actually get into the um from any angle so hopefully that'll work I'll go and say hi to the Highland cows <laughs> that's the new one she's not quite not quite a steam one yet, but she'll get there. to get them up into this one and there is a gate right in that corner that I want them to go out of but the problem is that there is no fence all along there so I'm hoping that they just all run out of the gate so I'm gonna go really slow really controlled and hopefully they will go out the gate <laughs> sheep in the silage in the silage field this year so for those of you that actually know me in real life you'll know um i love to walk um and i love to walk in pretty places and boy does it say you have some pretty places so beautiful here yeah. i completely went up the wrong road um but either way, this place is just beautiful. Especially this time of year, there's just flowers everywhere and everything's so nice and pretty and like even the sides of the road, there's just flowers everywhere. And it is so nice. Um, I finished work um, and I overestimated, well, no, underestimated how quickly I was gonna finish. So I've actually finished and I've got about two hours to kill before um, my ferry back home. So I'm just going for a, 
a little wonder just to see what this place actually looks like. Oh, there's some horses up there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. And there's just so much natural life in this city. Um, it's quiet. There isn't really too much hustle. But there is so much life here. Um, and it just kind of solidifies the fact that I do want to stay here long term. Um, and maybe have some sort of a travelling job rather than move away from here because this is kind of my heart's desire is just to be around nature and just to be able to <laughs> at least slightly breathe air that isn't completely polluted. <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't find that anywhere. Um, this side of the world anymore but I think this is just about as good as it's going to get for me for now but I'm back on the main road now so I will check in with you guys later because I don't really want to film on the main road that's just going to look a little bit weird <laughs> Stop filming again. I seem to put it down. <laughs> but I just went to the same walk as I went um, with my brother and his girlfriend earlier on in the week. So you've already seen that. Anyway. roads the more I was thinking where does this remind me of and I've just got it I spent a few months living in Spain and we spent some time in Marbella and these roads are literally just like the roads in Marbella like the little streets with the paved um, floors and the flowers everywhere and the palm trees it just completely took completely took me back to that one I clicked in my head, that's where it reminded me of. <laughs> 